Hello students, welcome to Time YouTube channel for Bank SSE exams. Today, we are going to discuss data interpretation bar graphs for IBSBI PO and clerk prelim exams. We look at the question types. The questions we are going to discuss are previous year questions asked in your SBI PO and clerk exams, prelim exams. So let's move it. Before we start, so hope you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. In case you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates from us. Let's move ahead. Our YouTube channel name, Time for Bank Exams, right? So the first set on your screen, study the bar graph carefully and answer the questions that follow. Bar graph shows number of two wheelers in thousands sold in four states PQRS in 2020 and 2021. The lines represent 2020, the vertical lines. The lines here, the second bar represents 2021. Right? So let's move ahead. Question number one. Find the ratio of number of two wheelers sold by P and R in 2021, P plus R is to 2020 2020 q places that's the question p plus r 2021 second bar graph 72 52 124 q and s 2020 the first bar 60 56 116 right so for 31 429 so 31 is to 29 Choice, choice 5 should be your answer. Second question. The number of two-wheelers sold by Q in both the years together is what percentage of number of two-wheelers sold by S in both the years together? So number of two-wheelers sold by Q in both the years together, 108, 60 plus 48, is what percentage of S in both the years? 144 into 100. So 12 nines, 12 twelves, again, three is a common factor, three fours. Three upon four is 75 percentage. It is present in choice four. Third question, by what percentage is number of two wheelers sold by P and Q in 2021 more or less than number of two wheelers sold by Q and R in 2020? So 2021, Number of two wheelers sold by P and Q together. So 72 plus 48, 120. This is what percentage more or less than in 2020 number of two wheelers sold by Q and R. Q and R 2020, 60 plus 40, 100. Simple now. Why do you want to calculate Q and R 100, P plus Q 120. Comparing with 100, clearly it is 20% more. 20% more is present in choice one. Fourth question on your screen, students. If the number of two-wheelers sold by T in 2021, okay, we do not have information about T here. We have information about only P, Q, R, S. We do not have information about T. Let me take down T in 2021. So number of two-wheelers sold by T in 2021, 25% more than Two-wheelers sold by yes in 2020. So 56. So in 2018, 2021, 25% more. So what is 25%? It is 56. 25% is 1 by 4 of 56. So 14. So we can say 70. Or it is 25% more means it should be 125%. 125% 125 is 5 by 4 of 56. Directly also I can say 70. This is second approach. Right? Then number of two-wheelers sold by T in 2020. Okay. T in 2020. 25% less than R in 2021. R in 2021, 52. Minus 25% less. 1 by 4 of 52. 13. So 39. R... 25% less means it is 75%. 75% is 3 by 4 of 52. I can say 39. 
So total number of two wheelers sold by T in 2020 and 2021. So 70 plus 39, it has to be 109. 109 is present in choice one. So question number five, considering all the four states, PQ and PQR and S, the average number of two wheelers sold in 2021 is how much more or less than average number of two wheelers sold in 2020. So how do you get average sum of all quantities not required for your understanding i'm telling you sum of don't do average initially not required sum of all quantities upon total number of quantities now students here don't find out average of uh, 20 20 2021 and all those just here 2020 what is total number of two wheelers sold 2020 44 60 40 100 144 150 200 2021, 72, 48, 120, 52, 88, 140, 140 and 120, 260, right? What's the difference? 60, but he's asking you average. Average is four companies, no? 60 upon 4, 50. So 2021 is 15 more, 15 more is present in choice two. Got the point? 2021 is how much more? Now, if you want to find out average, it will be 200 by 4 states, 50. 260 by 4 states, 65. Difference is 50. I'm saying avoid this. Directly take the difference. I want average by 4 you do because there are 4 companies. Question number 6 to 10. Study the following paragraph carefully to answer the questions that follow. Paragraph shows sales of 2 TV companies across 5 cities, A, B, C, D, E, in 2022. So this data is about 2022. Sales of two TV companies in cities A, B, C, D, E. The first one is Samsung. The second one, the vertical line wall is your Sony. Right? Let's take up questions on this. Question number six. Ratio of number of TV sold by Samsung in A and E. Samsung is first one. 600 plus 800. 1400 Samsung. is to Sony in city C and D. C and D, 750, 800, 1550. 528s, 5 31s. 28 is to 31. Choice 5. 7th question. Number of TV sold by Sony in city E, Sony city E, 650, is what percentage of number of TV sold by Samsung and CDB, Samsung and CDB 650. This what percentage? 650, 650 cancel, 100 percentage. Choice four. What is the actual number of eighth question on your screen? What's the actual number of TVs sold by Sony across all the five cities? Simple, add all this 500, 600, 1100, 1100, 750, 1850, 650, 2500, 800, 3300. 3300 is your choice one. Question number nine on your screen, students. What's the difference between total number of TVs sold by Samsung and Sony in city C and that in city A? Samsung and Sony, city C, 1450. City A, 1100. Right? So what's the difference between these two? That's the question. 350. Tenth question. Average number of TVs sold by Samsung across all the five cities together. Samsung values 600, 650, 700, 650, 800 divided by 5. You do this 1300, 2,000, 2,800, 3,400 divided by 5. 5, 6, 30, 40, 680. Choice 5. But I'm saying all these are not required. 600. 650, 700, 650, 800. Now, let's say I assume average to be 600. So it is 50 more. It is 100 more. It is 50 more. It is 150 more. So total 200, 300, 350 more. So 350 divided among five people, 350 or 400. 250 more. This is 100 more. This is 50 more. This is 200 more. Sorry. This is 200. 800 is compared to 600. 
200 more. So total 400. 400 divided by 400 divided by 5. So it has to be 80, 80. Each one will get. I'm assuming 600. Again, each one is getting 80. So 680. Choice 5 should be your answer. Right? So that's about a bar graph. See how easy the questions are. You see the level of difficulty is not as high as you are thinking. It is definitely not time consuming. Ah, you may not be able to do all 10 out of 10, but definitely seven to eight marks comfortably anybody can solve if you practice the basic data interpretation prelim level six. Also, you have to get back to your basics, make your basics strong, revise or do your uh, uh, homework like your multiplication table, squares, cubes, powers of two, powers of three, reciprocal values, practice more number of DA sets, I think should not be a problem. Anybody should be able to score decent marks in your DA. Ha, main exam level DA will be step ahead, little more calculations, little more complicated data, but prelim is not like that. So please join or subscribe to Time for Bank Exams channel. It may be Telegram channel or it may be YouTube channel. That's our handle name or it may be Instagram or Facebook. Links are given in the description box here, right? You can click, you can join. Handy name is time for bank exams. If you're preparing, if you're looking for, uh, preparing for bank exams and seriously looking for a physical classroom coaching, all right, we are here to help you. Please contact your nearest time center for physical coaching for online courses. It may be online flexi or it may be online recorded courses. Please do visit t4e.info slash bank SSCR. Right? So, so this is the link to enroll for this online courses. From time, we wish you all the very best for your upcoming exam students. Thank you very much.